E-cigarettes look and feel like real cigarettes, but that's where the similarity ends. Inside an e-cigarette, there's a battery, a heating element, and a replaceable cartridge filled with liquids. Some of the liquid solutions have a mixture of nicotine and flavorings, while others just have flavorings. The heating element creates a vapor from the liquids that smokers can inhale and exhale. Around 1.3 million Britons now use e-cigarettes. So, why are they so popular? For a start, they satisfy a craving for nicotine. Nicotine is a powerful drug that acts as a stimulant. It's also highly addictive. In fact, the American Heart Association claims that nicotine addiction is one of the hardest to break. E-cigarettes are also safer. The tobacco in ordinary cigarettes contains over 4,000 chemicals, as well as tar, which sticks in the lungs. However, e-cigarettes have none of these dangerous substances, so you can enjoy them without damaging your health. Plus, there's no ash and no nasty smell, and you can smoke e-cigarettes in most bars, pubs, clubs, and restaurants. So, can e-cigarettes help smokers give up the habit? Traditionally, people who want to stop have used nicotine patches and gum. However, Many find e-cigarettes more effective because they replicate the physical action of smoking. I was a 30-a-day man and I tried just about everything. But within days of using an e-cigarette, I'd given up, explained ex-smoker Patrick Morsey. However, there are a few drawbacks. For a start, e-cigarettes are unregulated and there hasn't been much research on them. So no one is sure of the risks. The WHO says that while there are fewer toxins in e-cigarettes, there are still some. Also, e-cigarettes can become addictive as people often suck on them non-stop without realizing how much nicotine they're consuming. Others say that they glamorize smoking, especially among the young. As a result, public health officials in the UK have advised sticking to patches and gum. But Sarah Wollaston, a GP Conservative MP for Totnes, has said, We have patches and nicotine tablets, but they don't suit everybody. If there's a product out there that for some people is going to be better for them, I don't think we should turn our backs on.